iPhones that Kindle, Nintendo Switch, even Ring doorbells. Foxconn is making these and more. Assembling the devices mostly in China has allowed the company to build an enormous business, generating nearly $200 billion in revenue last year. But the market for many types of electronics and particularly smartphones is maturing. Foxconn wants to move up the value chain to products that generate better profits. AI servers is one area where it's making progress. Sales have risen as Foxconn works with the likes of Nvidia, Microsoft and Amazon on artificial intelligence infrastructure. Semiconductors is another field with a focus right now mostly on older, less sophisticated chips. At present, these mostly go toward in-house needs, including EVs. This is an additional space where the Taiwanese company wants to compete. With a value proposition similar to what it once told Apple, Foxconn can build part or all of your car in less time and at lower cost. We believe uh, this uh, contracted and design manufacturing service go same way as smartphones and laptops. So we will have 40 to 45 percent market share in the future. Goldman Sachs says EV outsourcing could be worth more than $140 billion by the end of the decade. But with Foxconn still to sign on a major customer, its grandest auto ambitions are yet to be realised.